Okay, what we're doing right now is we're doing a pre-clay mock-up, okay, and uh, I actually got both of the valves, the ones that are going in the head and um, the ones that are um, the stop valves that come out of the head. So what I wanted to show you is what we're doing. Anytime you can eliminate dead space, it has nothing to do with compression, although that is part of it. Anytime you eliminate dead space and fill it where it's got a curvature, you've just made the combustion chamber more efficient. The clay represents the area that I'm going to weld. All right, although it's a rough clay in, it's going to be very approximate and close. Now, to give you a heads up, let's get straddled. Okay, here we are more in line with being dead nuts up on it. This is a 1890 valve, the performance valve. This is a 160, which it'll be actually 159. And you can see with the valve coming out, Plenty of area of unshrouded. It's hitting it and banking off. Now, I'll probably curtail that just a little bit more. Uh, when I get a grinder and go in there, I have measurement tools. It lays the amount of radius. But pretty much, this is what it's going to look close to. That. If you see right here, you can see the amount of area. Man, this thing's going to breathe good. Now, this is not to mention, I've got to go in here and slice and cut this whole section back come around here you can see the gasket line where I go in here and cut all that out and unshroud that so yes I am putting material in it but I'm going to be carving a serious amount out here and here and all this chamber shape which is going to really make a difference in it now it's not at all hard to see if you look at this chamber here look at the dead spots you can see the plug boss and the depth of it while yeah it, it does look neat for unshrouding you got this big dead spot right here where it's coming out it's not a quench area you just uh, it's called surface to volume ratio is what we're talking about here and this chamber is going to burn so much better that it's going to make a serious, a, a pretty decent horsepower gain. Even if the compression ratios somehow were the same, this one is going to make a lot more power and burn a lot better. Okay, so I just wanted to get some shots there and show you how I clayed that up. This is going to be real close to the chamber shape minus this. Now I'm going to CC it and get a volume so that I know how much volume just the clay is and then I'll unshroud this and re-CC it again and see how much it took away. This, this way I can kind of keep uh, tabs on it. But once again, see, I got, I got a pretty decent curtain. I do have a measurement that I make right here, a swoop, and it's going to tell me it's actually called a curtain. And I just kind of form it with my fingers. I'll be doing this with a grinder. Believe it or not, I'm actually better with a, with a grinder than I am with my finger. But you can see where we're going with this. Main thing is unshrouding and kicking the air up, giving it almost like a Venturi effect, if you will. Okay, and then I just come in here with my putty knife and do me a little trim, and it just levels it out. Okay, that's all. We'll get a couple of pictures and then we'll carry it over here on the table and we're going to CC it. I'll give you one more look at it here. You can see how as it goes up, it's unshrouding. See the kick? Now, this is a stock valve. Which, you know, wow, that's... Uh, that would really be an unshroud, but we need valve diameter with this port. Okay, if I could try to get one before and aft, you can really see the difference in the valve and the shrouding. Save quite a bit of difference. But that's okay because we're going to make this chamber work for this valve. If you just was to put that valve in there and not go in here, cut all this out, 
alleviate it, change, change the chamber shape, and do all the stuff that makes it work. This will actually slow you down because as the valve gets closer to the wall, it cuts all the airflow off. No, no air would get around it. Whereas with this valve, okay, there's actually room, as you can see, for the air to come around it. So sometimes the quickest way to hurt the motor is to put the bigger valves unless you're going to go in there and rework the combustion chamber. All right, that's all for right now. Okay, we just got 53 cc's with the clayed in area right at 53. Now remember once again, that's with the clay here. I will finesse it a touch more, but we haven't moved this area back, but it's 53 with the clay. Also with the, the smaller valves, of course, the 1735 and the 150, Putting the bigger valves in and the valve job is going to alter that a little bit, but mainly cutting all this out. I'm going to estimate and what I'm probably looking at is about three to, well, I'm going to go four cc's. So if it's at 53, we're probably looking at about, what, 57 to 58 cc's in a finished form. Okay, I just wanted to get a shot on that and let you take a look at it. That's what the measurement come out with and that's what the clay.